mean, my first time being at the mountain was only this week. She did it. The Leah Block narrative was one of the many storylines that intertwined at the 101st Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. Closing out the beautiful race day, the 16-year-old raced her late great father Ken Block's 1400 horsepower Hunapigasus up the mountain in a spirit quest she took us all along for. I wasn't even there and I felt closer to not just him, but all the great ancestors of racing. It was a sentimental moment for sure, and the Hunapigasus actually finished the run. If you'll remember, in 2018 KB completed a Pikes Peak run successfully in the Hunicorn as part of the Gymkhana series, but had to pull out of the Pikes Peak competition in 2022 when the 2200 pound pink pig had an engine failure during qualifying. Like you bore that yeah, out, no, or is there a new we, sleeve, or is it a shot? Never. Leah's run was not an official or timed run as she wasn't on the list of 66 official competitors, but it's a huge step towards competing with serious Pikes Peak vets like Robin Shute, who hit an 8.40.080 time this year while, like LeBron, succeeded in his fourth championship attempt for a fourth Pikes Peak overall victory in his number 49 2018 Wolf TSCFS. He smoked his 10.09.525 time from last year. Current Pikes Peak overall world record holder Romain Dumas was a close second by just seven seconds in that sicko mode Ford Supervan 4. Leah's one to look out for in future Pikes Peak runs as she accumulates as much XP as the vets we just mentioned. After watching the finale of this year's Pikes Peak, I couldn't help but think of the Paul Walker tribute at the end of Furious 7. Twas bittersweet, as it shows us life goes on with the sadness in stride, and there's always another race. My mom is gonna be rolling past here uh, pretty quick. The Block family matriarch Lucy Block also raced on the mountain with her late husband riding along in spirit. It was her maiden voyage on the mountain as well, and got props from her daughter before taking off. Lucy's a pro rally driver and has been speeding on country roads all her life, so she officially registered in the Unlimited class and drove the number 430 2024 Sierra Echo EV Hypercraft up the mountain. Pretty good time too, 1125 315. This cute little thing has a single 300 horsepower, 368 pound-feet of torque electric motor. The Block fam is selling seven of them for $75,000 a piece, by the way, with a piece of the profits going to the 43 nonprofit. After the race, Lucy seemed pretty serene. It was really fun. It was fun to get to the top and it was a Sunday drive. Are there storylines with Pike's Peak as a main character? One, two, three. Fourth gen racer Lonnie Unser, in her sophomore year on the mountain, personified Shiaki's journey and finished with a very respectable time of just a little over 11 and a half minutes in the 2024 Acura Integra Type S. This was the car's inaugural race, and we can now call Shiaki's journey complete. Love that livery. It's my second favorite besides Leah's Hunapig livery. What about you? Last year, Lonnie finished 47th overall and second in her division in her 2019 Porsche GT4 Club Sport, and she smoked her last year's time by almost a minute and a half. James Robinson, driving the sick NSX Type S Active Aero study, tried to beat the current hybrid fuel class record he set in an NSX in 2020 but came up a little short at 10, 11, 950. His post-race ritual? Burgers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Seems about right. You get a donut when you finish the race. The same thing you get when you opt out of Hell Week to become a Navy SEAL. Lonnie's other Acura homies did some pretty clean runs as well. Jordan Guitar did 11 12 164, Paul Huber's 1208 535, and David Malukas looked pretty cool in the NSX Type S pace car. The world's fastest pastor came back. After being diagnosed with colon cancer and given one year to live, Don Wickstrom pulled out his bucket list in 2019 and gave the Misty Mountain a run in his 2016 Axel Riley Av LMP sporting number 25. Well, he's still alive and, like many others, looking to inspire others and himself at the quasi-mythical event. This time, he may have blasted some Carrie Underwood on the climb and let Jesus take the wheel. Some interesting hill climb EVs entered the race in the exhibition class. Gardner Nichols raced the number 21 2022 Rivian R1T. At 7,100 pounds, the heaviest car in the whole race, it had no business theoretically finishing with the sub 11 and a half minute time that it did. And Randy Popes rocked the number 42 2021 Tesla Model S Plaid, aka Dark Helmet, and did so under 10 minutes. You know there were 12 cars that finished under 10 minutes this year? For the quarter mile, they say build me a 10 second car. For the Pikes Peak, they say build me a 10 minute car. This year's Pikes Peak was sold out, and 7,500 lucky ducks got to see Leah, Lucy, and Lonnie connect with their ancestors, Don reconnect with God, as well as see some dope EVs, some natural aspirators get lots of air thanks to the abnormally amazing weather, and even a golden oldie diesel run its last race. Scott Birdsall's number 128 1949 Ford F1. You know, old smoky. 
Scott's okay, but had an incident they cut the feed for and so unfortunately posted a DNF. He was able to pull a cool runnings and walk across the finish line though. That's racing sometimes.